What is up guys, Smosh Beans here and welcome back to One Life. Now today we're gonna to start off with something I should have done a long time ago. Something so simple and so easy to do. Yet I've been struggling this entire time with my backpack. What I need is some string and some leather. And then you simply place it like this, like a bow. And it makes nothing. Ah, because I've done it wrong. There we go, we get a little backpack pouch. And I'm not sure how this works. Apparently you have to do this. Hey, there we go. So it adds a little pouch to my backpack. Can't actually see any change. I wonder if you can make multiple of them. Oh, you can. Interesting. I don't know how many you can go up to, but we've increased our backpack space by quite a lot there, which would be useful for adventuring. But today, what we're going to do is something I mentioned last time, and that involves boats. Now, I have no clear access to the water. Like, I'm going to have a wall around my house eventually, but I'm not going to add that wall until I finish this one challenge. Well, not really a challenge, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little dock inside my house. Yes, that's right. Not over by the water. Somewhere around here. Somewhere where I can easily access it. And it's going to have like a nice little river flowing out to the water. Maybe even underwater. Probably not though, let's be honest. Maybe even underground. But probably not though, let's be honest. Now of course it needs to be level with the water surface, which is at level 63. We're at level 64, so only one bit lower, which is decent. So I think I will have it somewhere over here, as I'm going to have to cut through the orchard. This water will have to go through the centre of it, which is okay. We'll have like a little bridge over it, so we'll be fine. So I'm starting off by building a massive tunnel to the water, which is going to take a lot of digging of dirt. Well, hey, we have reached water. Now I have to do a sort of turn as you'll see up here, because my... Oh gosh, that gets a bit thin there, doesn't it? Because if I went straight on, it actually doesn't get to the water for a long time. It's a lot quicker to go on a turn little bit there. Got a nice little stretch of water. All we need to do now is really fill this with water. We're going to put a fence all the way down there so like people can't just jump in or mobs can't jump in and get into our house as well. But I need a couple of buckets first. I don't have any buckets on me. So now when I come back for an adventure on my boat, I'll head down this tunnel here all the way through at super speeds. An easy tunnel to navigate, just ignore me hitting the sides here, I'm bad. Through here, through our nice little orchard, which will hopefully have trees on both sides by then. And through to here. Now we have to build the actual dock itself, and I'm not just going to make it all boring and stuff. I'm going to make it interesting, or try to at least. Now one thing I've not built with yet is shingles. But I think they look really cute, and the green ones, the lime ones, look especially cute. We have a decent amount of hardened... We actually have a load of clay, holy moly. Let's get making this into hardened clay. We also need a load of lime die as well which I'm not sure we have a lot of right now no we've got a load of cactus greens here we got a load of cacti we have a lot of white anemone I can't say that word I'm not gonna try so that's a lot of white dye which we can mix with this to make lime dye 10 that might be enough for now to be honest with you let's find out okay so we've made our lime green shingles fairly easy to make this is gonna be the basis of our new structure I'm probably gonna need to get more at some point wow I'm like three blocks short feels bad man I think I have a little bit more clay downstairs. I'll have to go check though. Oh, I actually have 39. Decent. Which again is actually not going to be enough for what I need. Awkward. Well, we may as well go find a Mesa biome because we have this amazing pickaxe which can do amazing things. Hey, let's take our boat on our exploration. How about that, eh? Turns out I'm an idiot. There's actually a Mesa biome in the complete opposite direction of where I'm heading. So... Thanks, Lizzie, for the coordinates. Gonna head there now. It's actually really not that far away from me. Ah, we are here. Good. Okay, let's collect a load of this. Thank you for the clay. And at least we now know where to come in the future if we need more. So it looks like we finally have enough clay shingles there to finish off the green bits of our little... What is this even called? A dock building. I don't know. We also need to get something for the roof. I'm not entirely sure what to build this roof out of. You know what? Ethereal wood could look really cool. But where the heck do you find ethereal wood? Mangrove wood would be cool as well. But where do you find mangrove wood? The heck is that? I've not even seen that sapling before. Let's go see if anyone's selling those saplings. And if not, we'll have to venture out to find the biome which these saplings come from. I'll give you guys a little update on the train. I haven't actually finished this building yet, but the track from my house all the way to the train station is complete. We head down here, we get to sit back and relax as we travel to the train station. That's literally the only rail I've done so far. I haven't finished. I am very lazy. 
Man, it looks like no one's got any, which means we're going to have to go looking ourselves. Ooh, llamas. Now, we're going to grab some bones for bone mill, and we're going to head towards where those trees were. I left a waypoint for them. Oh, that's 4,000 meters away. Well, we've got nothing else to do today. May as well take this. I'm going to take my flower basket as well, because I want to gather some more flowers. And let's go on an adventure. And now we're going to need a boat, and our boatyard isn't finished just yet, but we can we can still get a boat from there. Off we go, in search of biomes. Ooh, what's this type of wood? This is not something I've seen before. Dead wood. Oh. It's... It's... It, it, you can't make planks out of it. Why is the point of this wood? We'll take some anyway, because... Why not? Now, the kind of opposite has happened. Last time, I didn't want to go in this place because they had no torches. Now, I don't want to go in there because I've got no healing potions. Has someone been in this one? This this is lit up. I think someone's been in there before. Interesting. So, that one's not worth exploring. Haven't found the biome that I've been looking for yet. I have found the trees, which I've marked before. So, I can get some pecans. Some apricots. Hello. Some pomegranates, which I don't think I have. Almonds. Ooh, coconuts. Pistachios. Grapefruits. Oh my gosh, there's so many different types of fruit here. Ooh, are these bananas? Nice. Durian fruit. Ooh. And lemons as well. Awesome, that's so many different trees we've got now. Honestly, I don't think we're going to find this biome anytime soon, so I might just use something else for the roof for now, but this trip wasn't a failure. We managed to get loads of new fruit for our orchard, which is going to look sweet when we get back. Okay, we're home. First thing we're going to do is we're going to turn all these fruit into saplings, which all we need is some saplings. Lovely. It looks really nice when you walk through here with all the different trees and all the fruits hanging off them. I love it. Oh, this could be good. Look at this Midori block. You get this from Cactus Greens, which I have blooming loads of cacti. So let's do this instead. That's a good idea. So our cactus is nearly done smelting. While it does, I will do this. This is what we're going to make these blocks. Midori blocks. It's part of the Quark mod. And then you can do this and make stairs out of them. And this is what we're gonna be using for the roof. Bam, there we go, 56. So I think it's looking pretty good. However, I have ran out of cacti and can't get any further. So we'll start working on the floor while our cacti is growing. We're just gonna use some basic old planks for this. I don't know why I've built everything so green. Green seems to be my color. I guess I am Shrek. Oh, why do cactuses take so long to grow? I added this floor into the bottom of the boat house so you can easily get down to the boat level and hop on in. I also put a chest here with a load of spare boats in in case that one for some reason gets lost or broken. Now all I need to do is make a bridge over here. I'm gonna have to do it in the orchard as well as here. So we'll do a quite a big bridge. And then I'm gonna fence off all the way around the outside of this place so nobody can jump in my stream. So things are starting to come along quite a lot now. Our roof is still a working in progress, but we have added on some bridges here. We've got two bridges, one over this side and one over this side in the orchard. We have also fenced off and put like this nice little stone bit on the bit of our canal so that nothing can jump in it. I guess something could jump in it from up here, but I doubt anything will be able to do that as we're going to keep this area nice and well lit up. Our orchard on this side is looking very full. We're going to add a load of trees onto the other side as well, but it's looking very neat indeed. I'm loving it. All in all, very happy with how things are going right now. Just got to wait for these cactuses to grow and they're taking flipping forever. While they do grow, we'll do some fairy lights because I love my fairy light. So with this final load of cacti, hopefully we should have enough to finish off the roof. Now, I haven't just been waiting around for it to grow. I've actually been quite busy doing other stuff. I've actually added this entire wall here. I know a lot of people get mad that my walls just seem to not be protecting my area. So I added this area here to completely protect this side. I'll get working on the rest of it another time. I'm still not entirely sure how far out I want this place to go. I might put another little bridge here just at the edge on the other side of the orchard. And the final block on the roof and it is done. Happy times. Oh, I just need to add some glass on that window and then we're done. I need to light it up on the roof and add a door, which I'm gonna do a DecoCraft door, but I'll add that next time. But I'm really happy with this. I need to work on the tunnel a little bit more as well. Uh, as at the moment, it just looks a bit ugly. This first bit is nice. But once you get past outside our enclosure, there's no real protection. I might add some gates on here as well. But all in all, I'd call that a success. 
We've really improved our compound this episode. Can't wait to finish off the orchard and start finishing the wall as well, as I know you guys really hate how open my whole entire house is. But thank you so much for watching this episode of One Life. Make sure to leave a like and comment if you did enjoy this episode, and I'll see you another time. Goodbye. P.S. Make sure to check out my streams. I stream building the train station. Plug in my own streams, I know. It's on YouTube here. Bye.